heavyweight division collision. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Great punch. Oh, straight right. 
Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. That's what they call it to go and end the fight. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Marshall, the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Swing and a miss by Lee. seconds to go. Big kick land. Checks the leg kick. Five minutes in the books. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. A big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hook. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. That knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Sneaky head kick. Keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? <laughs> 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 
lands flush with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Liver kick. Just misses with the jab there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get... All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponents. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here, and they separate. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Nice hook lands. That shot blocked by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Man, striking class. Over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 10 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on.